I think I've got the next ball as well, I do believe, Menas. You do. Right? Yep. All right, so power rankings, you mentioned it before, but CSK are surging. They've come to the top of the table. They've won three straight and four out of their last five. They have. They are on 10 points, having played seven matches. Uh, Gujarat Titans are on six points, having played eight matches, so they could um, equal them if they win their next game, although CSK's net run rate uh, is a little bit better. So they have won three consecutively. Rajasthan Royals have had um, two losses in a row, although they still have the best net run rate, but um, they're coming back to the field a little bit. RCB are starting to look pretty good as well. Um, there's a huge log jam in second place. Um, uh, I mentioned Gujarat had that game in hand, but there are another. There are a total of five teams on second place with eight points, and RCB are one of those. And with Maxwell firing, Faf firing, they've obviously got Virat Kohli. We mentioned David Willey's bowling well. They're looking um, quite decent as well. Poor old um, Calcutta Knight Riders have fallen away. They've had four consecutive losses, including that win that we talked about with Delhi beating them. Um, poor old Ponting didn't get an easy night of it, though, that after restricting them to 127 with the return of Ishant Sharma to the IPL, it took two for 19 for Delhi. They got the runs, but they made hard work of it. Six for 128 with two balls to spare. We mentioned Warner getting the runs. And Akshar Patel... Wasn't a quick innings, but 19 not out off 22 got them home as well. So they're actually playing Sunrisers Hyderabad, I think, in the next game, which is kind of a battle for the bottom of the table at the moment. So Aussie fans, I think, will be hoping that Delhi can get a second win there. Um, but CSK, I was listening to um, the cricket podcast, and they were um, having a bit of a go at them uh, with with regards to their win uh, when they chased down um, 134 from Sunrisers Hyderabad and got there with only eight balls to spare. So any danger of actually putting the foot down and... Um, scoring quite quickly. But the game before that, they'd um, made 220-odd. And then in their most recent game, they belted four for 235 um, against KKR. That um, So they've got pretty pretty impressive lineup with Rahani, um, Guy Quad, Conway, Dubey, Jadeja, Dhoni, and Moen Ali. There's a, there's a batting lineup. Um, and special mention again to Dhoni. Uh, he came out at number six with only two balls to go uh, and the crowd was like a, a waste type full toss potentially that would have meant that he wasn't to come in uh, and the crowd were desperate that it wasn't going to be called a waste type full toss and then they went absolutely berserk when he came in which you would expect uh, if it was actually in Chennai but this is at the away game this is at the Eden Garden so that's how um, <laughs> Tony on his farewell tour that just you know the love for him is just um, is just growing uh, so Manus who's your so who's your power ranking team of the week Oh, it has to be CSK, but uh, with a special mention to RCB as well. Yeah, I agree with you. Really good stuff, and I really and we'll we'll get to my ball six in a minute. But it's a very tight ladder, and although Delhi have had you know a shocking start to the competition, they are still only three wins out of mm. second spot. So, and they've got a game in hand with a lot of those teams. So they still have to win those games and judge. Doesn't look like they will, but um, it's a very, very exciting ladder. 